I'm Michelle Leonard, I'm the Founder and Artistic Director of Marimbilla Voices and since 2012 I've had the absolute privilege of artistically working with all the iterations that Song Company has been. I think many people would understand that the Song Company has always exemplified excellence and um, but what it has also done is given permission for others in, um, in the broader sense to collaborate without fear and to create a unique Australian cultural voice, which they've always been a leading light for. And it is something that I've always aspired to um, emulate. And I've been, I've been very, very fortunate to be mentored by Roland and many of the singers themselves over a long period of time. I don't think you can underestimate the importance of a full-time vocal ensemble in Australia. And to have one to say, not just to Australians, but to an international audience, that we value the importance of the human voice and the human experience that is so beautifully channeled in a vocal situation cannot be underestimated. It actually connects us to our own humanity. And it is this connection not only to the spirit and energy of creativity that has always been in this country, but it is their ability to connect with their audiences and to provide a vehicle for us to understand our own humanity and ourselves. Certainly over the years with Marimbella Voices, having Song Company and many members of the vocal ensemble be present in Baradine, or as we call it, Baradice, um, there's some wonderful anecdotes. But perhaps my best memory, they came into the centre of the audience and they sang a remarkable Ross Edwards work. You could have heard a pin drop. Um, they were able to distill the energy of this work about the stars and transcend this very, very basic performance space into something that was glorious. And for the children and for the audience to experience that in a, in a remote part of Australia and to have access to that excellence, um, that really made me quite determined to ensure that I would be able to continue to offer that opportunity to my audiences and to the Murrumbilla children, but also to support in any way I could uh, their contribution to the Australian arts ecology. And I've been delighted in my own small way to be able to do that. The song company has always ensured that the next generation of excellence, particularly in the compositional space, has been nurtured, encouraged, and given a space to have a creative freedom within a context that is still robust, but empowering. And as an arts ecology, we are now seeing the fruition of that um, watering and nurturing from a decade previously. I am so delighted to be the benefactor of that through composers that have come through Murrumbilla Voices that have also worked with Song Company, exemplary composers like Andrew Howes, who really have something unique to say in the Australian choral and wider arts landscape, but composers like Ella Masons, Alice Chance, Dan Walker, Kevin Barker, and, and many, many others actually, whose practice has been um, gently nurtured through the interaction with the singers themselves and the various iterations of artistic directors who believe in the power of the human voice to connect us to our shared humanity. And for me, that is actually the essence and the spirit of Yinjimara. So how do we collectively create a world worth living in? That starts for me, and I believe for Song Company, by believing in the capacity of the next generation of Australian creatives to connect us meaningfully to this extraordinary country and to ourselves. And that's how we create a future worth living in.
There is something extraordinary about a long-term artistic relationship as a, an artistic director develops and the composer or their artistic collaborative team develops, the nuance of and, um, and the ability to move naturally between the changing nature of your worldviews can create extraordinary results. And with the song company, we've seen that over such a long period of time. And coming into this concert where, again, Ross Edwards' extraordinary worldview and understanding of uh, how nature interacts with the human voice. These are relationships that have been built over decades, decades of trust and understanding of the capacity of the singers and the capacity of the ensemble to be able to move in the artistic direction that they're going. And we often take the nature and the symbiotic nature of that compositional relationship for granted. Music is written for musicians. When you know the musicians, you are able to create a bespoke legacy that speaks directly to that musician's capacity or that ensemble's capacity at that point in time. As the song company turns fabulous and faulty, I would like to thank them on behalf of the thousands of children that they have influenced and given them permission to shine, to believe in life's possibilities, life's creative possibilities, the mentoring, the generosity that they have shown to our regional children, to our Sydney audiences, but also through their leadership. I, I want to say thank you.